Yo guys, let's talk about deep learning and image classification. So deep learning is a subset of machine learning. And deep learning can be used to do things like speech recognition, image classification, object detection, and so much more. So I'm not going to go into the whole math and the whole neural networks behind deep learning. If you want to learn more about that, I'll link you to a video that can explain it much better than I can and goes through basically the whole mathematical concept, how the neural networks work and the firing rate and all that other cool stuff. So definitely check that out if you're interested. But I just want to focus on how you can implement a deep learning neural network on your own computer to do things like Google Photos does for image classification. So to do this, we're going to use an awesome software called NVIDIA Digits. It basically makes this whole process very easy. However, you will need to have an NVIDIA GPU to use this. And keep in mind, deep learning does use a lot of computational energy. So you would not want to do this on your CPU, it will take hours. And if you have an older GPU, this might not be the best thing to do because it will still be very slow. So I'm doing this on a 970, and for me, it's pretty good. And also, you're going to need to have Linux to run NVIDIA Digits. You could do this with Windows, but it's just a hassle to install and set up. So I recommend you just do this on Linux. Now, as far as how to install and get set up with NVIDIA Digits, I'll provide a link to the GitHub tutorial that walks you through there. It's not that complicated. There's just a lot of stuff to install and a lot of things to watch out for. Um, so rather than trying to re-explain it, I'm just going to link you to the tutorial. So with that, let's get to actually using image classification. Let's get to it. Okay, guys. So we're going to get started with launching NVIDIA Digits. So like I said, if you want to install it, refer to the install instructions over on our GitHub page. It takes you through the whole installation process. So once you launch NVIDIA Digits, you can go to localhost 5000 and you'll get to the UI. Now what's nice is that NVIDIA Digits is all running locally, so you don't have to depend on an external service. So let's go to data sets and create a new image classification. So just to show you, I have a data set that contains basically two things, airplanes and helicopters. And within my airplanes folder, I have about 700 different photos of airplanes and I have about 70 different photos of helicopters. So I want this neural network to be able to classify what is a helicopter and what is an airplane. So I'm gonna go back to transformation options and go to fill. Then I'm gonna point to the location of my things folder. Finally, I'm going to give it a name and the data set name and go to create. What it's going to do is going to create a data set. Keep in mind, this takes up a lot of space. So training neural network takes about six gigs. Creating a data set might take another gig. So you definitely need a lot of space. So next, let's go to models and create a new image classification model. I'm going to select the data set that I just created. And I'm going to go down to first go down to learning rate. What I want to do is make that smaller since I'm not working with a ton of images and I want to make sure it's very accurate. So I'm going to turn that down to 0 0.001. So next thing I want to do is go up to the batch size. I'm going to make that three just because if we're using the Google net and we make it the default batch size, we might run out of memory on a graphics card. So just avoid that and make that a small number. And for the network, I'm going to choose the Google net just because it's a little more efficient than all the other ones. And let's go to create. And right now it's going to start training our deep learning neural network. Now, as you can see, it's using my graphics card, a GTX 970, and you definitely want to use graphics. If you try doing this on your CPU, it's going to take about 20 minutes, 30 minutes on a graphics card. It's going to take only about maybe one to five minutes. So it's a huge difference in time. And you can see the graph as we're going through and you can see as it's going through each epoch and you can see the uh, accuracy and the loss going through. Okay, so I finally finished training, and this looks like a really good model. Our accuracy is very high, and our loss is very low. So what I'm going to do is first go down and test it with an image that was not in my data set. So what I want to do is choose an image of an airplane that I have on my hard drive, and I'm going to see if I can classify that as an airplane. And again, this image was not in my training set. And there we go. It was able to tell that this is an airplane. And if we can go through, we can see each other visualizations um, and how it all broke it down. And we can also try it again with a helicopter and see if it's able to tell if this is a helicopter. And again, it worked. It's able to identify that this is most likely a helicopter. So guys, this has been a quick look at using NVIDIA Digits for deep learning image classification. Definitely give it a try. Tell me what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to go and hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.